Hey guys, welcome to my favorite place in the world. I bet you by now you know where I'm at. Yep, I'm in Moab, Utah, and I'm here with this very special truck. For those of you who don't know, Ford has introduced a brand new trim level to the F-150 called, let me show you. Yep, the F-150 Tremor. And you may be wondering, the Tremor, wasn't that a sport truck long ago? Or isn't that a trim level on the F-250? You are all correct, but now you can get an F-150 Tremor, which is kind of between the FX4 uh, and the Raptor. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all about this truck, and then we're gonna go drive up there uh, and see how it does off-road. So what does the Tremor cost, you may be wondering? Well, it costs about $50,000 starting, but this one, since Ford always lends us the ones that have the most goodies on it, is $68,005. And for that, you might be wondering, well, what do you get besides this kind of cool gold accent? Well, you get more aggressive tires. These are general grabber all-terrains, as you can tell. Uh, and then you also get a big Tremor name on the back. What you don't get is what the Raptor brings to the table, and that, of course, is Fox Active Suspension. Here you've got, I believe these are manufacturer black, no-name shock absorbers, uh, but that's okay. They've served Ford well for a long time, and I think they will continue to do so on this vehicle. And under the hood, there is only one option. Let me pop the hood and show you that. And that is the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 produces over 400 horsepower, but it's not the high output version that is in the Raptor. And unlike if you're fans of the channel, Andre's truck, you cannot get a tremor package in the hybrid version. So you don't get that 7.2 kilowatt hours of onboard power, but you do get, let me show you, onboard power nevertheless it's just not as powerful let's pop the back open uh, and you can see right here that you do get power and you get two kilowatt max ac 120 volt 2.4 watts so there you go two of those probably good enough to power most things but certainly not your house if that's what you're looking for you need to go with the big one and i think i did that manually but i bet you i could do that yeah i knew it i could do it like that of course for sixty eight thousand dollars why would you have to work so hard and then of course you get this cool four tailgate which lets you do things like measure stuff put your pencils in here of course your bottle opener uh, and then let's see if it closes automatically with two clicks sure enough of course it does. How cool is that? Now, in terms of towing capability, uh, this truck tows, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's just under 11,000 pounds. 11,000 is a lot. Oh, my gosh. Um, for a very off-road worthy truck. But don't hold me to that. I may be confusing it with the Tundra, which I recently reviewed. Uh, let's look at the inside. Now, inside the Tremor package does give you all the newest goodies in the newest F-150. My favorite thing is kind of this perforation. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but if you um, look at it from like this angle, the leather looks black. But if you look at the little perforations, I hope I'm doing a good job showing you, then it turns this gold color. Of course, embroidered Tremor in the seat gold embroidery in the steering wheel, gold accents, uh, and then, of course, Raptor, very much like, I would call them steps. They're really not skid plates. I think those will be more detrimental to your off-roading than on-roading, but they are good because the, the truck does have about an inch lift. So let's look what you can get on the inside. Massive screen. Of course, this party truck. Yep, that folds down, and then if you want a giant workspace, you fold that forward, and you get yourself a giant workspace. 
Uh, power it up and let's look at the cameras. Let's put that back up. So you get your trail cameras. Let's see what kind of trail cameras we have. We of course have forward. We have, uh, it's kind of cool, 360 forward. Let's keep going. That should be your bed camera. Uh, that should be your hitch camera. That's pretty cool. It should be your reverse camera. Uh, what's that one? That's the bed again. Uh, and then, of course, 360, which is very useful. Uh, you know, cameras have become a big deal in off-roaders. The only issue I ever have with cameras is that um, they never give you a sense of depth, right? Even if you go, let's go like full on forward. Uh, it's hard to say exactly like how far that rock is from the front of the truck. And that's always been a little tricky. Now, of course, you get all the luxury features, heated steering wheel, heated and cooled seats, uh, three different auto settings for your climate control. Um, this one has the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. And of course, the most interesting feature is right here when you're off-roading, uh, and that are your drive modes. So let's take a look at what drive modes I have. All right, here we go. You know what, I'm gonna not shoot into the sun, so let me turn this around a little bit. Uh, and we'll um, we'll take a look at the different drive modes. Uh, I think I'll go backward. Let's go backward and get myself lined up for going up the hill. I don't like off-roading backward, but hopefully there's nothing here I'm going to hit. I'm just trying to point this truck so that we're not shooting into the sun so you guys can see the screen. Uh, so turn it around using the cameras to make sure that I'm not going to run into a rock. Uh, there we go. Um, brake reverse is sitting not, not available. Let's line it up with the hill. Uh -huh. And hopefully this has enough approach and departure angle that I won't be scraping my nose going up the hill. Oh yeah, Ford's beeping, telling me I have to put my seatbelt on. Sorry, I'm here by myself, so I'm doing this one-man band style. All right, so there we have it. I better put my seatbelt on. Give me a second here. I'm just going to... Give you a funky view as I seat my as I seat belt myself in. So let's look at the different drive modes. So you have, uh, in terms of off-road modes, normal. Then you have uh, slippery. Um, put it in neutral because we are going to be exiting normal mode. Uh, then you have uh, steep snow and sand, uh, mud and ruts, and rock crawl, uh, which is the one that I will be using. So let's go OK. Uh, Shift delayed, drive forward. Let's drive forward. Okay, and there we are. As you can tell, it gives me pitch and roll, and then of course the rear uh, diff is locked. So the other thing I want to try is I'm going to try a one foot driving trial, one pedal active, use set button for trail control. Set button, is that this one? That's pitch and roll. If I do that, it should go. Okay, parking brake on. There we go. Come on, come on, baby, you can do this. And here we go, up the hill. Uh, and it's hard to express just how steep this is from behind the camera, but uh, it's a little, well, let me show you. <laughs> I guess if I turn the camera this way or that way, it makes it seem steeper, but really the downside to all these big pickup trucks is that all you see is sky. So I'm hoping that I don't go flying off of a cliff because that is my view right there. Uh, and that is not great. Uh, but then I have this view, which helps. So that kind of keeps me pointing and going in the right direction. But nevertheless, it still is a little butt clenchy when you're doing this kind of off-roading. Uh, there, there's your uh, degrees of tilt. Going down this hill, it's gonna be very tilty. So I'll be curious to see kind of what my degree of descent will be uh, and overall you know the biggest downside to these big trucks is that they're just big trucks obviously the reason that side-by-sides have become so popular now is because while well, they're just really small and nimble and you don't worry about like falling off that way or falling down that way you just kind of you know don't feel like you're a cork in a bottle but that's okay because big trucks can do things like tow side-by-sides. <laughs> and then, you know, not only can you tow the side-by-side -side here, but you can go up and over 
uh, these classic Moab slick rock features in a big truck, which I think is pretty cool. So uh, let's kind of take a let's kind of take a stop for a second. We'll do a quick walk around, and we'll show you the uh, we'll show you the the scenery from the top of the mountain. And there you go. Look at that. LaSalle Mountains over there. Uh, and, of course, this red clay that is classic to Moab. Uh, the thing you're not getting with the Raptor, with the Tremor as opposed to the Raptor, is um, you're not getting the Fox suspension and you're not getting the high output engine. But you are getting, check this out, uh, the dual exhausts that are also standard on uh, the Raptor. So that's kind of a cool feature. I do love those dual exhausts, the way they uh, point out the back. And let's face it, the twin turbo V6 is not the best sounding powertrain. I mean, you know, it's paired to a 10 speed automatic, which is great. I love the C clamp uh, that Ford does now. I love the uh, accent colored tow hooks. Maybe as a community, we can decide what color is off road because for a long time it was red. But now Jeep, of course, went with kind of a copper color for their 4xe. Uh, Nissan went with kind of a volcano orange. I guess it doesn't really matter. It depends not what color they are, but the fact that you have them and that if you do get stuck out here, uh, you have some help. And in terms of the bed, of course, you've got your tie downs, your lights, you've got a rear facing camera, which I already showed you. Uh, and you have this really cool, I know it looks black on camera, but it's, I believe, called antimatter blue. It's a very dark blue. Uh, for those of you who are Land Rover fans, Land Rover does a version of this color as well. I think it's called Royal Blue, um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and of course, you know, there are your cameras. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's let's go take this thing downhill where it's going to get a little butt clenchy. So I have to apologize again. I got to, I got to, you know what? I'll just put this here so I don't, I don't, there we go. It'll make you sick moving the camera. Hello. Put my seatbelt on. We will go down the hill. If you can hear me, we'll go down the hill. All right, here we go. Door ajar. And all right, let's take this uh, bad boy down. Uh, my, my biggest complaint with all the modern trucks is because uh, they become so aggressive in their front ends, right? They're just so big and mean and imposing. When you actually get behind the wheel, it's really hard to see what's ahead of you. And that's why these cameras are almost indispensable because without them, oh my gosh. Now, uh, let's see what kind of angle we can get to going down this. This is always a little butt clenchy. And the thing about Slick Rock, oh gosh, is that it's uh, it's not slick unless it gets wet. <laughs> In which case, it's very slick. So obviously beautiful weather here, uh, tires are dry. Uh, so we should be fine, but it is going to be a little, uh, a little tricky going down this. Let me show you kind of the, the, the thing I'm going to go down. Oh gosh. All right. I'm belt myself again. Okay. We should be good here. Door wants to slam open and, uh, it's hard to show steepness on camera, but, uh, yeah, let me show you that, that down there, uh, that down there is the descent uh, into some muddy Moab water. And there, of course, is the truck about to do it. So hopefully uh, we won't we won't hit. You know what I could probably do? You know what I'll do? I will mount this camera uh, on the ground here. And you guys can watch me go down. Uh, and that'll be more interesting. That'll be more interesting than being in there with me. So you can see the truck do its thing. I'll put it on the ground. God, this is so steep. Oh my God, even in my shoes, I feel like I'm about to fall. So let's put the camera on the ground. Uh, and then you guys can see, you guys can see the tremor as it makes its way down the, down the, down the incline. So let's see if I put it, maybe if I put it over here, we'll give you a good view of, of the action. There you go. All right, be right back.
Wahoo, I'm back. And there's the truck. I didn't swap it. Almost. 25 degrees was the steepest that it got to going down that hill. Which is, uh, trust me, very steep. Here comes some side-by-sides. Watch them come through. Go for it! I know I look at like a swamp, but it's not. Oh, they're a little worried. I got to get out of this thing. Oh, you'll be fine. It's uh, it's much uh. It's scarier than it seems. You're doing great. Nice. Get out of his way. I'll just grab your way. Give me a sec here. All right. Can you get? Can you get around? Can you get around? Okay. Great. Yeah. I kind of uh, parked in a really stupid way. Cause now I can't get into my truck without. Uh, now they're. They're terrified. You're good! You can just go straight down, you'll be fine. There you go. You're doing great. Nice work. All right, um, this is just a world of side-by-sides. So let me get out of their way. Oh my. All right, I managed to get here without getting all wet. Let's move the full-size truck out of the way. So all these side-by-sides can come through here. Now you can see I'm going back in the water. Woohoo! Oh! And out of the water. So let me give you kind of my final thoughts. You know, you might be wondering, how does this compete with, like, the Rebel or the trail boss or even the raptor uh, and the answer is you know there's kind of three grades of off-roading trucks now right there's the base kind of four-wheel drive truck and then you step up to like a fx4 if you're in the forward world where you get skid plates uh, and then of course you go to the tremor and then the raptor and then ultimately when it comes out the raptor r and this truck uh, it's kind of at the upper end of that echelon. So, you know, is it worth getting it over Raptor? I guess the, the question is, you know, what are you trying to get out of your truck? Are you trying to tow with it? Raptor only tows 8,000 pounds. Are you trying to do desert running? Raptor has Fox suspension. Or uh, are you looking, you know, not to break the bank? Uh, because this guy is a little bit more on the affordable side, depending on, you know, which version you get. So let me zip out of here and kind of give you my final thoughts. Now, if it were me, uh, and you know, if I were looking at a, let's say a 55, $60,000 Tremor, then I would definitely, you know, get this over a Raptor. But if I wanted a Raptor, in other words, the big macho, most prestigious, Ford pickup there is, at least for off-roading, I would definitely spend the extra money on the Raptor. Uh, this is a really nice truck, but uh, it's not as special. It doesn't make me feel as unique as driving a Raptor. And of course, you get to the TRX, which takes it to another level, and eventually you get to the GM Hummer EV, which takes it to the hyper truck level. And what I mean by that is that puts out a thousand horsepower, about 1,200 pound foot of torque. Uh, you know. TRX is 702, so Raptor does, you know, 450, I believe, or 500 now. Um, but with the TRX and the uh, Hummer EV, you're just getting, you know, insane amounts of power. So if you need a good off-roader that makes great towing rig, I would suggest you get a Tremor. 
but if you want the ultimate off-roader, and if it were my money, I'd probably get myself a Raptor, if you can even find one, because you know right now they're kind of on Obtanium. Well, guys, thank you for hanging with me. As always, this has been Roman saying thanks for watching. Remember, check out TFL Truck and TFL Off-Road for news views, and, of course, more F-150 Tremor reviews. Andre is going to, or already has, towed with this, so we'll also get a towing video out for you so you can see how it does on the iCarb link. Ciao. Thanks for watching. Bye.